What's up guys, my name is Yuan Lund and today I'm shaking out Hertz drums. Hertz Drums currently offers three different packs of drums, a white pack, red pack and a blue pack, which all together gives you a huge variations of snares, kicks, toms and cymbals. Let's head over to the DAW and check out the features and create some tones. Alright, so this is how it looks when you load it up, but before we dive into the features of the plugin, let's take a listen to how it sounds. I have no processing on the drums themselves, other than an instance of flatline on my master out down here but that's mainly just for some volume control for you guys. And the drums are routed out to a stereo output, but stay tuned to the end of the video where I'll make a mix using the multi-outs, which I'll go through in a bit, and do some processing and see what tones we can get out. So let's check out the MIDI that I wrote for the playthrough in the beginning, I hope you liked it, and check out how it sounds. Let's check out the overheads because I think they sound really, really nice. I'm going to move forward a bit here. So I'm going to solo the overheads. Yeah, really nice. And the rooms. Yeah, really nice and explosive and it sounds really natural and realistic that really nice tuned kick-ass drums would sound in a nice drum room. So let's check out the features and later on I'll slap on some processing and see what tones we can get out of it. I'm gonna just go through all the features here. So starting off from the top here, the first thing that uh, loads up when you load the plugin is the mixer. And in the mixer you can set either volume or panning to each individual drum as well as the different groups that the drums are routed to. So you, as you can see here, you have the different spot mics for each drum and each cymbal and the tambourine or cowbell. And here you have also the groups that the drums are routed to. Kick, snare, toms, hi-hat, ride, cymbals and miscellaneous. And you can choose the different uh, setups here so you can quickly access the groups or the shells or the uh, symbols right there. So the next folder up here is the library sampler, uh, which I will go through in more of detail in a bit. And in the next folder up here, you have the grooves folder, where you have a bunch of pre-recorded MIDI parts, uh, intros, beats, fills, and ends, uh, where you can build your own song basically and then edit it to your preference. So that's really cool. And in the folder up here, you have a bunch of presets for the different packs that you own. I have both the blue, white and red pack. So I can easily just uh, choose a genre from any of the packs that uh, they've created a preset for. And that gives me a good starting point for a tone that should fit that genre. 
And next up is the audio routing, where you have a bunch of different uh, routings for each individual mic. As I have it set up here, it's just a straight uh, stereo out, but you can easily just click the multi outs here, and it sets the drums up for a multi out recording, which allows you to uh, create individual tracks for each drum, so you can process them differently uh, afterwards. And next up is a bunch of settings for MIDI mapping. Uh, for instance, if you are writing uh, riffs, uh, drum riffs in another program, you can easily just uh, load up a different MIDI mapping that corresponds to, for instance, GDD Invasion or Easy Drummer or Superior Drummer, uh, and go back to Hertz Drums uh, MIDI mapping really quick. So that's a really nice feature to have. Or if you have your own preference, you can just choose the MIDI mapping for each individual drum really fast like this. And next up here is the settings where you'll find your audio libraries, MIDI libraries, the performance, low, medium or high, if you want it to be humanized or stereo flipped. And to the right side here you'll find a lot of different settings for each individual drum. You can just click on any drum like this and it will come up here, the snare for instance. Uh, first off you'll have uh, what mic you want to be chosen. Uh, a, B or C, and you can choose the, the different pitch to match the, the note of your song. Uh, you have a trim knob here for volume, uh, overall volume, and you have individual volume sliders for each individual mic setup, direct signal, overhead, sub and FX, so such as reverb, and how much ambience you want uh, in that specific drum. If you want more room or more reverb or a lot of both, basically. <laughs> you can also face flip uh, both the reverb and the room, which is really cool. And here you can set the velocity range from 0 to 127. And you can set the dynamics here as well. Uh, so basically, if you want the program to produce just a one-shot sample, uh, you can just crank the minimum up to 127 and crank the dynamics up to 127 and it will only produce one shots no matter what velocity you program the drums to. So um, mix these and uh, try to set them in different uh, parameters. You can get really nice uh, performance out of it. And here you have a handy little feature which is exactly as it says, it's a reverse uh, button. So if you press that and program any of the drums, it will reverse the sample. So that's really handy if you want to maybe add an uh, affected reversed snare before a breakdown or whatever, or a reversed cymbal in, uh, before a chorus, or that could be really nice to have. Instead of searching for a reverse sample, you can just uh, make your own sample here and put it before the actual hit and it will sound much better. And down here you have an ADSR curve where you can set your attack, decay and release to each of the either shells or cymbals. And down here you have controls over the MIDI grooves, a master dynamic selector and a master volume. All right, so let's check out the sampler here in more detail. What you have is access to all the different drums in the packs that you own. As for instance, I have both the white, the blue and red pack. So if we check out the snare here, uh, I have all the snares that are available in these packs uh, ready by just clicking like this. You can check them out in the different mic positioning, A, B and C. And you can see the specific drum that's being played over here. So if I, for instance, uh, like the brass from the blue pack uh, I can just simply right click and that snare is now chosen for this kit even though the main kit could be the red kit uh, with the kicks and toms and cymbals and whatnot but you can use a snare from another kit just by right clicking that specific drum that you like that combines uh, well with the other drums from another pack and you can do it on the fly as well so if we solo it like this a bit more easier to hear so if i just uh, press play here and then click through the different drums you can hear the different sample being chosen
Yeah, so it's that easy. And that goes, of course, with all the other different drums as well. So if I want to choose the kick, for instance, it's now uh, chosen with this preset that I've made the absolute 22 by 18 inch. But if I click around, maybe I want that Metallica sounding kick <laughs> instead. Just going to right click that one and that's automatically chosen. It's loaded up and take a listen. Yeah, really nice, tight sounding. And you can do that with the cymbals as well, of course. You have a bit fewer options since there are fewer cymbals uh, than uh, the drums themselves. But you get the main idea. It's a really nice way to create your own Frankenstein's monster of a drum kit by using the sampler, which is really nice, handy tool to have. And it's super quick and really intuitive to just click around and choose the drums that you find suits your project the best. All right, so let's see what tones we can get out of it by slapping on some processing to these drums. Uh, I've routed out all the drums do using the multi-out feature that I showed you before. Uh, and I've uh, printed down the audio like this uh, for each drum, shell, and cymbals, and uh, rooms. Uh, and uh, I have some bass and some guitar here with some processing and some sick amp sims to it. I'm using the bass knob from Bogren Digital for the distorted bass sound with these settings. And I'm using the amp knob from Bogren Digital as well for the rhythm guitars with the settings like this. Really simple, but sounds kick ass. And they got some slight processing to them, but we're here for the drums, so let's do a quick and kick-ass, probably, mix uh, for these drums. I'm going to first off erase a couple of tracks that I don't need. I'm only using one kick. The nice thing with this plugin is that you can program left and right kick, and it has a lot of other variables that you can program these drums to make them sound even more realistic than they already do with the humanizing function. But uh, I haven't done that uh, in that quite of detail for this video. So I'm just gonna do as I normally do and program it that way. Uh, so let's just uh, start off by listening to the kick, how it sounds in solo. That really nice kick sound right there. Uh, but I'm going to load up an instance of STL Tones Control Hub, my new secret weapon <laughs> when it comes to mixing. Slap on some Atrium Audio drums. I love the tones that comes out of that studio, so having the presets from these guys in this plugin is really inspiring. So let's hear it with just a kick preset here. and off yep cleared it up made it a bit more punchier let's move on to snare this will go fast so keep with me control hub yet again atrium audio show me what you got snare one why not Yeah, remove some boxiness. Uh, sounds great. The toms I routed to a group. So I'm just gonna slap on control hub to the entire group. Let's do tom 16 inch and see how that sounds. Really nice top end to that one and some Clickiness as well. I think it's going to cut through the mix really nice. Let's go to overheads. Yeah, done. Rooms. Now 
the rooms really exploded with that preset. Sounds really nice. And an overall drum bus processing. Kind of back off the mix knob a bit for that one. It was a little bit too extreme. Even though we like extremes here. <laughs> yeah, glued the drums really nice together. But let's see if we can make the drums a bit more punchier by adding some parallel compression. So I've added a FX track here that's called GR Para drum parallel so I'm gonna open an instance of STL control hub yet again looks for some sick I think I saw a drum bus smash preset here I think that's just exactly what we are after uh, so I'm gonna quickly route some stuff to that bus I'm gonna need some kick some snare and the snare I want to be the main uh, driving force for the parallel compression so I'm gonna back off everything but the drum the snare sorry so the snare is gonna be at 0 dB and the rest is gonna be a bit below just putting it by heart for the moment maybe I'll go back and tweak it some but the trick is to add all instances of the drum kit to the parallel bus to make it more unison I think it sounds the best if everything is routed to it in various amounts there you go not the reverb though i don't need that i'm gonna add it a bit though i thought it lacked a bit of reverb so let's check out how that sounds first i'll see if we get some audio coming through it Yeah, sick. So I'm going to start with it at zero and then ease it into the mix. Just uh, I want it to be punchy, but I don't want it to be overwhelming. So let's solo the drums and just add in the parallel bus until I'm happy. Check it out with the entire mix. Sounds kick ass. Uh, how long did that take? Just a couple of minutes. And I got a really nice kick ass drum mix. Yeah, so that's Hertz Drums for you. An awesome sounding drum program with a really nice natural drum sound created in a kick ass drum room. You can really tell that when you listen to the overheads and rooms in solo. And a lot of attention to detail and time as 
gone put into this program making it sounding as realistic as possible with the different articulations you can program and all the different settings you can do to each drum or each uh, cymbal it goes for a really realistic sounding drum sound well, thank you so much for watching my demo if you like what i do please consider subscribing hit that notification bell so you get notified whenever i release a new video and until the next one see you later